This is Tanara Kurinov, your friendly neighborhood gamer mouse, once again, with Solo Joe, an 8-bit climbing adventure. But if you've been watching this, you will probably already know that. And if you are watching this whole thing, I'm a little bit surprised. I've been playing this for like, four hours at least. 9% of the game done. I know it's an RPG, and I know RPGs are long. But my goodness. I'm not quite sure what all counts towards completion in this game, but... Yikes. Seems a little crazy, doesn't it? So... Let's see what's going on here. What we can do. I wonder if I could do brown banana guns and do the three quarter inch wall routes. After clipping the first bolt, move left to avoid the low roof, then climb up through good holds to a rest. Traverse the arete, then through some powerful moves. Thin climbing leads back to the face. Make sure to take advantage of the good rests. Let's see. Do a little PGA tour like dun 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 Okay, I got one, two, three. Wait, one, two, three, yeah. Four. I don't know why that goes over there. Five. Six. Seven. Seven. My goodness. First of all, let's... We don't need our trad gear here. We just need seven quick draws, which seems as heavy as the trad gear that we had. Let's see. We zigzag there. Go up. Clip into the rest hold and go up this way. Over towards the edge of the cliff in this little thin area. Rest hold there, and then we... And you remember to go off to the right here. And then we... There's a clue up there, which I might have to look at trying to get later, because that actually looks reachable. But... Left goes to the shuts there. So, let's do this thing. Just have to remember to be on the lookout for some cruxes here, right? Okay. Power Crux. Ah, okay. And balance. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, uh. Whew. Okay, clip in, and then... Uh, that's the last clip in. Okay. We just gotta get to the shuts now. Yeah! On site, 5.8 minus. Booyah, baby. Wow, that's tall. Look how long it's taken us to get down from there. <laughs> you should make sure to talk with other climbers. They may be able to help you. Rubber doesn't really look all that worn, but okay. Dun, 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 
Okay, let's see about that clue and that cash bonus that's up on the wall. At least there's no technical cruxes on here. Hate those things. Just power crux and balance crux. I hear footsteps. Like footsteps. But aren't supposed to be awake. I heard a light turn on, I think. Better not be someone coming down here. Oh, jeez. Okay, I guess we can't get to that from there. Jeez. Frick. Okay. That was close. Let's try and get over here and get that clue, maybe. Or not. Hmm. Get to that rest hold. Ah. Now how do I get that cash? Hmm. Okay. Forget it. Let's just clip in. I can't seem to get to either of those things yet. So, for now, let's just take our experience gained from this and... Yeah. Hum, hum, hum. Which experience certainly is a bad thing, but... We did that on site though, nice. Brown banana guns. Still sounds so weird. Um it's a five eight on DeWalt and Bosch. Hal Dorson's route. Let's go to DeWalt and Bosch and scout it out. Okay, my mouse is not still in there. Okay, good. Hey, you. What do you know about carabiners? If you had four more aluminum beaners, I could add them to my gear collection. Try to find more. So there are aluminum, silver, and gold carabiners, apparently. And he wants five aluminum ones. Good to know. I'll have to see about grabbing more carabiners. He might have something to offer for them. Which would be cool. It says there's some kind of booty on this wall somewhere. That little blue indicator. There's gotta be something. Although it's probably, uh. I'm going to assume it's probably just a beaner and it's something I can't reach, I bet. <laughs> How Dorson's route. It's a little. Five bolter probably has some sort of crux to test my metal. Or my muscle or my balance or something. <laughs> Let me look at the guidebook. We'll test both your technical and your physical abilities. Climb to the low roof. Watch for loose rock as you move around to the roof. To the RIT. Thin crimps guard the last bolt. Make the final traverse right and climb the an climb to the anchors. So I can put a couple of those back. 
Gotta be careful, there might be a technical crooks in there somewhere. Mm. Like that. I hit X! Screw you, game. Nope, now I can't get my on site, thanks to another technical crux. Screw technical cruxes. Screw them. Oh, gosh. Ah, rest hold. Oh, good, good. That's a good rest hold. Wait, are we supposed to go this way? Yeah, I guess so. Almost on site if it wasn't for that stupid technical. Technical crux is darn you! Okay. Well. That's all the routes that are in my. Uh. in my uh, range of ability, I think. We can see about grabbing that beaner, though. How many bolts is this route? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, Yeah, seven. Need a couple more on my rack here. We might have tried to grab that beaner before, though. I don't know. We probably did. We probably failed, too. I don't know. Jeez. <laughs> uh, nope, that won't let me grab the beaner. How do I get down there? It looks like there's holds down there, but... <sighs> well, let's do this route to get my quick draw back. It's probably another place where dinoing would be helpful, but hard to know. If only I could just, yeah, if I could just do a slight hop over there or something. But we don't have that ability yet, and I don't know where that ability can be obtained, so... So that's for later, I guess. <sighs> okay, power crux. Uh, do a no death run of this game. You die, start all the way over. That would make it tense. An Iron Man run or something. Be scary as heck. Being 
constant fear of dying all the time. I feel like playing hardcore on Minecraft, knowing you have to start all the way over if you die somehow. I really wish I could get that gear, but oh well. He might have something to teach me if I find some beaners for him. Hmm. Let's look at the guidebook for Jack's Rocks. 5-8 plus. <laughs> Bolted by his father, Levi Betamax ticked the first ascent at age 7. Real fitness and good river required to navigate the first couple of bolts. After that powerful route, after that, this powerful route will push you right to the edge of your endurance. And one of the characters in this game did it at age 7. And we think we're crazy letting Pokemon trainers go out at age 10. Real genius. 5.8 plus. An O'Sullivan classic. This trad route takes good gear, but nothing too big. Climb to the left-facing diagonal roof, then a long left face to a balancey traverse. This route is a proud tick. I'm guessing I have to get that to progress the story, because... One of my siblings is talking about doing that route, so... But I want to work up to that. There's Itsy Bitsy, 5.7 plus. Early, attempt, early attempts left scars behind, and there's fixed gear. The path of least resistance rendered the fixed pin useless. There are awesome technical moves, but route finding is the real challenge. Let's go see. Where was that? What wall? The Mutant Hamster. Mutant Hamster Races. Open Project. One in the grave, the other in sticky rubber. Itsy Bitsy. Hmm. There's one, two pins, and then it looks like it splits off over here. I probably don't want to go that way, though, but... But I don't know. Where's the ending to this? Oh my gosh. Okay, let me make sure I've got this clear. If I can find where the heck I was. Oh my gosh. So one, two, and then... What the heck? Hey, let me make sure with what I'm doing here. Okay, this is my bolt-in. So this wall is the one I'm wanting to... Climb on here. I think. My gosh. Five, six. Okay, well, there's six pins I think I'm wanting to use. Oh my gosh. That route's not confusing at all. Oh jeez. I made it. Ugh. Cause upwards just leads to that paton. So you have to remember where the heck you're going. Okay, balance. Ah. Clip in and chalk up. Okay. Can we on-site this? Yes, we can! Yes, we can! I see an aluminum beaner up there, too. I want it. 
I want to see if that Mickey Beaner guy has anything good to offer for those five aluminum beaners. So we're going after that. I want to know. I want to know. Because if there's any new skills at all I can get that will be useful to me, I want them. I want them now. As soon as possible. Okay. Got my quick draw ready. Quickly draw the quick draw. Okay. Now let's see if we can grab that beaner. Come on, we can grab it, we can grab it. Yes! Now let's see if we can clip into and avoid the trouble. Yeah! Cool, we got ourselves another beaner. Another carabiner to add to the collection. Awesome. Are those heavy or something? Let me see what the weight is. Oh, just 0.5. I wonder if that's in pounds or kilograms or what. Cool, we got two aluminum carabiners. Three more and Mickey Beaner will have something to offer. Whatever that might be. Alright, let's look at the guidebook. And that's a nice on-site. 5.7 plus. Okay. Cool. This fistful of Casper, that's a 5.8. Follow the obvious crack to a short roof, then move right to the finish. The technical finish is nothing compared to the heady opening sequence, so make sure to protect the lower crux. Okay. Okay. Where is this? Crazy Eights, which is the first wall. I don't want to do that yet. Ooh. There's an aluminum beaner sitting right there for me. Oh, goodness. Okay. I'm going to want some little nuts and some camming devices of various sizes. couple of little nuts. Maybe one of that size, I don't know. And... And some variously sized camming devices. Is a little. I have to figure out what to use on that crack there. Then probably small camming devices and a nut there. Actually, you know what? I'll bring a couple of the smaller camming devices. Damn it! I spoiled my on site going after the carabiner, didn't I? Son of a bitch. Duh. How am I supposed to get over there? It looks so easy to get there, but it's not. 
I guess it's yet another thing I need some ability for, I'm sure. Ay, ay, ay. I'm gonna need another bigger nut, I guess. Dang it. Let's try that again. I definitely don't want to leave that camming device behind. Okay, I guess I don't have to protect that, I just clip in. Okay. Well, I did it. I didn't do it on site, but I did do it. Okay. There's the burning eight and real genius. Real genius is there, so I assume burning eight is over here to the left. The burning eight. Remember when we looked at these routes and we thought, wow, that's impossible? <laughs> Three, four, five, five, five clips. Let me see that again. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, five clips. Although one of them's already up there, so let's put all our various trad gear back. Four clips. All right, let's do it. Clipping into someone else's quick draw again because, you know, that's always a smart idea. Who, who would do this at age seven? That's my question. Oh, this really does test out your power stat, doesn't it? Ooh, we're low, but yes! Did it on sight. Oh, yeah! Nice. And we got a point. Let's put that into physical. 37, 38, 39. We're a grade 5.9 minus climber now. The rubber's slowly wearing on my shoes. Now, can we handle a route like real genius? The O. Sullivan Classic. At least it all use, seems to use smaller trad gear. Hmm. I may need more nuts for this. These nuts are cheap. That should do it. Oh boy. Real genius. Let's 
say four or five bigger nuts, four or five smaller nuts. They're, they're light, so I might as well just take a bunch of them. And maybe a couple of small canning devices, just in case. Oh boy. Let's do this thing. This is where I may need the camming device, yes. Okay. Good thing we brought a couple of the camming devices. On-sighted real genius, the O'Sullivan classic. Father would be proud indeed. Wow. Nice. Very nice. We... We have done well this day. I believe... Don't you think so? I think so. Well, let's see here. Where is everybody? There's somebody on this... Well, I thought, ooh, free quick draw, then I looked at the route. Nope! <laughs> no wonder there was one left there. I don't know why there was one left there so early, but that's a different story entirely. Uh. says there's someone to talk to here. The purple indicator right next to the blue indicator indicating there's something on the wall. Oh. Ah, uh, glad you like those gloves I got you. No one to talk to here either. Did everybody just move to this wall? Probably. Access Fund has nearly opened a new climbing destination. $150 more should be enough to secure access. Wow, so we can open another route? We're progressing kinda quickly, aren't we? That's good. I like that. I like opening up new places. And just seeing who all we can talk to before we, uh, open that up. So I'm just curious, is all. That's cool. I guess... Yeah. These people. Who thinks the uh, son of theirs is going to be the next Solo Joe? I haven't seen you guys climb yet. You should try it sometime. Then again, you are here, so... It's thanks to me, partly, that these places are open. At least it's smoothly scaling the, uh, the amount that it's taking to open up new places, unlike Tread Chica's little, uh, gear placement lessons or whatever, where, uh, frickin' it was like 50, 100, then 500. I got four words for you. Poke your eye out. No, I don't want to poke my eye out. It looks hard. Do you think you're up to the challenge? So those are like the plot important walls, <laughs> which sounds really weird to say. The plot important walls. Yeah, hopefully we're not playing like a Pink Floyd game. Every wall would be a plot important wall somehow. Ugh. 
Wait, did he say something different, or did he say the same thing? That's I just subconsciously skipped over it because he did. You're not ready to know what I know. What does that even mean? Tell me your secrets. Wait a minute. You're are not ready to uh, know what I know. Uh. By the way, you stole Glenn Plake's mohawk and dyed it blue. What's your problem, man? What's your problem? 62 River Valley. I wonder if this person has anything to... Something about the Silver Carabiner still. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is... Boom, 150 to the Access Fund and... Coast of Ashball. Sweet. Let's buy the guidebook. Why do they have guidebooks to places that aren't even open for climbing yet? What kind of sense does that make? Yeah, well, whatever. Let's go to the coast of Ashbaugh and see what... The... Well, first of all, let's look at what the routes look like. Sanji Vertikale. Bushly... Man, these are... Five to okay, there's some five eights. Five eight, five eight, five nine, five eight, five nine, five nine minus. Five thirteen C five ten B This skirt makes me angry. <laughs> Death by suburbia. Five eleven A, five eleven A, five ten D, five ten B. I don't remember if A is harder if the lower letters like B, A are harder, or if it's the higher letters like D and E that are harder. I think like stuff like D and E is the harder ones, but I don't... I don't remember. Some 5 7s. So there's everywhere, everywhere from 5 7s to like 5 14s in here. Ugh, excuse me. So let's see who there is to talk to here. Should be 9 more clues. The only clue I found concerning him was trading a guidebook for it, which is a little uh, odd. Sorry, I got, like, hiccups right now, and I uh, keep wanting to belch for some reason. I'm trying to be polite, but if I have to let one rip, I apologize. Uh, Celebration Rocks. I'm guessing Roy won't have anything else to say besides the... Oh! Uh, I thought Uncle Bob might have a psychic hint or something, like he does once in a while. Radman, there's seagull. Those seagulls are crapping all over these rad climbs. Dot dot dot. What a mess. By the way, the dot 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 is called an el it's ellipse ellipses. I think that's what it is. I was trying to sound smart there for a second, and then it kind of fell apart. Aesthetica. Let's see who there is to talk to here. These are like, this is like coastal climbs. Kinda cool. Got some new places. You even got wildlife flying around and landing and It's all the little touches. Is Roy the only person here besides Radman? Whatever Radman does around here. Because I don't know. I just want to scout around for people to talk to, because... Never know. Not a whole lot of people on the coast. Well, let's find a... There's a couple of 5-7 routes on sand and cows, so... Ooh, a 9-bolt route. <laughs> Frisky Disco, 5.7. The 7-bolt route climbs the right face in RAT. I, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but... I don't know how to pronounce it. Make sure to take advantage of the ample rests as you tackle several balancing moves. This was the first route climbed at Ashball. Well, let's make it the first route we climb at Ashball, too. 
Frisky Disco. One, two. Press hold. Three, four, five, six, seven. And then finish. So let's put our trad gear back. And put our sport gear quick draws on. I still think it's kind of cool to collect little carabiners. Okay, we go straight up. I guess we keep going straight up and clip into there. Yeah, I guess we just keep going with that. This looks like it's on a different route entirely. So yeah, one, two, three, four. Rest and go to the left. And then we kind of zigzag our way up the rest of the cliff face. Did it say anything about any cruxy? Oh, balancey. Okay, balance cruxes aren't too bad. I don't have much of a problem with balance cruxes at all. Okay. 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 I keep, I keep getting worried these seagulls might, like, knock me off the cliff or something. But I think that's because I've been playing too much Maniac Sports. So I'm afraid all the wildlife's have to kill me. Because Maniac Sports will, uh, make you think all the wildlife is out to frickin' murder you. Ugh. Oh, oh, on site! Nice. Looks like my shoes are starting to get a little worn, but I don't think it's anything to worry about yet. 68%. Mental stat to 40. Should see if we could solo like some of the 5 5 routes or something. A grain of sand turns the balance. Tyrannosaurus funk. Wasn't there another 5 7 route around here? Of cows and sand, that would be it. <laughs> One, two. Oh, wait. I think that's a different route. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then it goes up here to finish, I think. That's a lot of... Yeah. What does it say about it? If you possess the proper skill, you will find ample opportunities to rest in the chimney. It sounds like I need that parallel rest skill first. Eh. <sighs> Yeah. So dry in the desert. Everything gets chapped. Wait, there's gear on this wall somewhere. But where? I'm always on the lookout for some new gear. Oh, there's a quick draw on that route. And the beaner. I'm gonna have to see if I can snatch that. That looks like something I could actually grab. And then there's 
there's this over here, but I don't know if there's any gear over here. Doesn't look like it. Nope, there is one another one. We can grab ourselves a couple of quick draws and get some experience, I suppose. And maybe grab ourselves a nice beaner. Yeah. On the... There's a quick draw and a beaner and the electrical banana, so... Why the frick not, actually? I really probably could sell some quick draws. Especially after this. How many bolts is this route again? One, two, three, four, five. And there's one already up there, so heck, I can save even more weight. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. Okay. Let's see about grabbing the beaner. Oh, what? Oh, right. We probably tried to do this before. The big high-skill technical crux over there or whatever. Well, we can still get the quick draw, so hey, whatever. Right, right. So you know what? Yeah, let's do that. Let's finish up this route, and... Okay. Yeah, just grab ourselves that quick draw. And there's another one over here, I think. Oh, it was No, it wasn't on that route. I think it was on the electric worry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Okay. Clip in. I don't feel safe. Okay. <sighs> oh, all these technicals. Don't like them. Ugh. I'm really gonna hate those on the solo when I try to solo these routes, huh? Uh. Right, that's another quick draw. I haven't found a whole lot of trad gear laying around, have I? There was the one route that had like two or three, but other than that, not very often. Not on anything that I can actually climb anyways. Man. You know what? I'm gonna go to the gear exchange. I think I can sell like seven of these, yeah? Yeah. Give myself another eighty-four dollars. I might have to resold these shoes again sometime anyway. Wait. Oh wait, I did talk to Tread Chica. I wonder if the guru has anything more to say. Probably not. No more I can teach you today. That's what I thought. Now let's poke your eye out. That sounded like it was the next thing to... Mother tongue? Okay. There was Poke Your Eye Out on 62 River Valley. I think we saw it. 
In fact, I think I made a joke about it. 5.9 plus. Solid moves and engaging climbing leads to a high traverse which dead ends. Set up on a good horizontal edge, then chuck for the jug across the gap. The dino is at an odd angle, so... Wait a minute, what? There's something about dinoing now. Uh, how do I learn to dino? There's idiot wind, 5-7. On the fungal wall. I'm guessing I need to climb more to... Like, how do I... Second bolt. So it's a three bolt climb, but uh, it's a dangerous three bolt climb. Ugh. I don't like this. I don't like this. Okay. Oh, it's a balance crux. I can dig it. Ah. Oh geez, power crux too. Okay. Sweet on site. Oh sorry. I love that voice. <laughs> yeah boy. Where does that come from? Where did he get to there? It looks like part of a route, but... Kinda looks like it's something that comes from somewhere else. Yeah... Look at that. Yeah, I think it does. I think it's from over there, and it... There's a downwards climb for whatever odd reason. The poke your eye out talks about dino ammo, and I don't know how to do that yet. Laney versus the Gak Gak. And capitulation. Let's take a look at those. Oh man, that's a wide crack. I think that takes a big bro. And then some little nuts and such. Okay, well... But I think you're supposed to have the no-hands-rest skill to actually rest on that route, so... Man! It's all these skills I need. Capitulation 5-9. And there's a couple of quick draws on this route, and a beaner, so... I might try this. Let's look at the guidebook. This long technical route rewards a smart, patient climber with fresh rubber. And though there are a few good rests, several balancey sections protect the final anchors. So how many anchors are there? One, two, three, four, five, five. And two of them have got quick draws on it already, so really I only need three. Which I have. Okay. Oh, 
Oh jeez. Ugh. What the fuck balls? Damn it. Oh man, that is a really tricky balance section. Holy crap. Uh, what? Damn it. What happened? Uh. Okay. I don't know why I fell from that. I didn't run out of energy or anything yet. Damn it. Uh Okay. I don't know. How do you get that cash pickup out in the middle of nowhere? You have to, like, purposely make yourself fling around a good and easier balancing section. No! Dang it, there was a rest hold up there. Ugh. It was close. Puts a couple of points into technical and then try it again. Ugh. Damn! Those are tricky. Dang. Okay, let's go over to the rest hold. Uh, okay. Really wish I had that Zen power up, but once again, don't know how to get that either, so. Uh, okay. Frick, that was close. Let's clip in and then rest so we lose less energy. From the resting. Okay. Ugh. Come on, go for the bucket. I know it's here. Yeah. I think that's the last anchor, so... Did it! Ugh. Tricky, 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 tricky. I don't even know about trying to go for that carabiner, because that was tricky, and I don't want to have to go through that again yet. Not until I have more energy or technical skill or something. A little more in physical. Let's see. All fun and games and a different kind of not good. Crack is for babies. <laughs> All fun and games. One, two, three. No way, that's a different route over there, I think. One, two, three. Huh, there's probably some cruxy part to it, so... At least I assume so. Because it seems pretty straightforward. But when something seems straightforward, it always makes you wonder, yeah. 
big balancey crux. Ah, clip in, then rest. Now let's go. Okay, power crux. That took a lot of button presses. Ooh, that was on site. Sweet. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Sure have a lot of cash. 950. Heck, I could get a new rope by the end of this part. Actually, I'm thinking of ending this part now. It's been about an hour. Let's look at a different kind of not good and see about the protection on that route. There's all the small nuts, and then... Yeah. I don't know, what's over here? Some gear bonus. This looks like it's part of a different route entirely. This looks like what I need for this. Right? I think. Oh boy. Okay, yeah. There's the power crux that kicked my butt last time because I couldn't protect it properly. Yeah. Did it, though. Sweet. Good, good. Uh, but how do I learn those techniques? I don't know how... Yeah, I would be up to the challenge if I had the dino skill. Like, seriously, it seems like I have to have it. Let me look at the route. Because it's telling me I need to do it, so... Poke your eye out. And you have to do these clip-ins up there, and then... Yeah, you have to dino. Because there's no way to climb that otherwise. Dang. So how do I dino? Also, it's telling me there's loot on this wall. Let me take a look around for where this loot is located. Eh, I don't know where to go, though. I bet it's on this route that I don't want to climb yet. That's a really big crack. Holy crap! This thing's insanely tall. It's like one big pillar of rock. With a big, huge, giant parallel crack in there. Lots of camming gear. Capitulation 5-9 minus. Oy. Oh, the carabiner's gone. Where's that one shoe rubber expert? Nope. I wonder if that rad man is the one to teach me dinos or something. Wherever he is. I have to wonder. I guess he doesn't say anything else. Dang it. Okay. And I'm not quite sure where to go at the moment, although... 
actually. Let's go look at one of the 5-5 five five routes here. So I'm thinking about doing a solo or two before we leave. Have a new solo. So I already soloed the 5-4 routes. So my mental skill's like up to 40 now, so... Paid in full. Yeah, I don't think I'm ready for that yet. <laughs> Dang. Not yet. Nope, nope. Can't believe I did that technical crux solo, even. Ugh. I'm meant to do this. Uh, if you could tell me where to dino, that would be great. There. Or maybe it's that Mickey Beaner guy. I just have to find more aluminum carabiners somewhere. Wherever that might be, I don't know. Because <sighs> I have no, I have no clue. No freaking clue whatsoever where that could be. And it says there's booty on these walls somewhere, so I want to obtain it. There's a carabiner over there. But that's the one with the crazy technical route. Err. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. You're not ready for harder trad routes. Is there somebody who's going to teach me how to dino or something? Because that would be nice. Jane. It's a 5.8 minus. King of the Apes. There's Jane. Kind of looks like you're supposed to have that uh, no hands rest thing though. Because it's a chimney up there. We can try it, though. Yeah, let's try it. Pixels seem off on that for some reason. Oh dear. Onside. Did it on site. Nice. Love when that happens. I want to know about the route. Hmm. Well, that'll about do it for this, I think. Just did an on site of another route. It's cool. 
And, ooh. Hey, Lord, look at that. Put that in there. There we go. Cool. Cool, cool. Grade 5, 9 so far. Actually, we'll do one last thing before we go. My technical skill is 40. And... I still want to get that carabiner on the... Freaking three-quarter inch wall. Wherever it is, on electrical banana, yes. I want to get that carabiner. Oh, it's not there! Then... Then where... Then what gear's on the wall? Okay, this took a little new twist. Maybe there's some trad gear around. Please. I want there to be some tread gear around here. No. No free trad gear for me. Darn. I never find free trad gear. Never mind, I guess we won't try the carabiner after all. Uh. Darn. Darn, darn. And where's this gear? That is on the wall. Is it over here somewhere? Yeah, there's a quick draw on the wall. Nah, heck with it. Let's go grab it, I guess. Then we'll end it. Then we'll end this part. Part 5. Climb brown banana guns again. Because why not? Shit. Uh, should have checked my gear first, but you know what? Oh well, I uh, didn't spoil an on-site with my stupidity or anything, so hey. Okay. Four, five, six, seven. Seven, but I really only need five, so eh. Okay. Let's try that again without being frickin' retarded. Yeah. Definitely could use less dooey hee hoy. Crux, I'm guessing. Not yet. There we go, I knew there was one somewhere. Okay. Alright. This way. Okay. Clip in. Chalk. There we go. Now I'll just clip in and another quick draw. Booyah. Good stuff. It's always fun when you complete a route and you see just how far up you're. Yeah, right. Sell off those few extra quick draws for a few bucks and... You know what? What's my rubber condition at? 66%. Probably don't need to replace that yet, but you know what we're gonna do? Let's get a new rope, baby. Oh yeah! Well, you can buy death minuses? Well then. So, did I just buy the lightest rope? Character! Cord XS Skinny 10.1. 
So, ow. I guess we got the lightest rope? I don't know. Because what's in the store now is a death minus, and unless there's something after that, then, uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Well, we just bought a new rope. And done some good climbs, got some good gear. Doing pretty good. And... Still don't have any improved shoe rubber. Figure out uh, where to learn these new skills yet, but... Uh, I'm sure we'll figure that out soon enough. So... Yeah... See you next time on part 6 for more Solo Joe. Only 13% done with this game, man. Tanara Kuranov signing out.